with my uh, Buteco practice after going for a number of years before I came to uh, Breathing Centre um, and uh, was very, very happy to get a very substantial breakthrough in my practice. Uh, started in December and uh, my control pause or positive maximum at that time was 15. Felt terrible. Um, now, fast forward a number of months, my range is 45, 50, sometimes 60, 70. It's just um, remarkable progress in you know relatively short period of time. But what is really interesting about my case and what I want to communicate is I, I really tried for four years before I came to Breathing Centre and really applied myself. Couldn't get my uh, positive maximum pause above well, six, seven, ten if I was lucky. It was a really terrible, terrible state. And that is with a lot of concerted effort and a lot of research. Uh, did an enormous amount of reading. Uh, consulted, you know, all the original texts. A lot of, a lot of reading and just had a tremendous difficulty in making it work. Some changes came by when I reached out for help and uh, did different consultations with different people. I uh, did different, different, I did courses and whatever else and wasn't quite getting it until I had one kind of uh, breakthrough with a good discovery session where my kind of breathing practice was evaluated, kind of um, tweaked a little bit. And um, thereafter, I began to get positive results. And it was that moment the penny dropped and said, you know what, I have been doing this wrong up to now. And what I need to do is I need to take a very systematic approach. I need to find someone who's been doing this for a while, who perhaps has had similar kind of uh, symptoms to myself, who kind of perhaps can resonate with myself. And then I'm going to give this a really concerted push. I was very fortunate to be connected with Jesse. Um, the best thing about this experience working with Breathing Centre has been the partnership with Jesse, who... I'm, I'm not entirely sure um, anyone else would have been able to quite connect with me and uh, facilitate the growth that I've experienced. Uh, what I have found just so remarkable about Jesse is um, he's like myself, very open-minded and uh, very interested in human potential and um, is very interested like I am with um, the scope that Buteco gives individuals and groups the capacity to actually really realize their potential. So I uh, had a dialogue with Jesse, was really clear with him, look, I've done this for four years and haven't got to where I want to get to, but it's really, really important for me to make this work. And I've just uh, completed my contract. Um, I, I just completed a big project and I've now got time. So this is all that matters right now. We're going to focus on this. And uh, thereafter, a lot of interesting adventures unfolded. I can tell you about some of the stuff we did, but it was, uh, yeah, just incredible, incredible stuff. And now, yeah, control pause is, you know, three, four times what it was. And uh, so much improvement across so many domains. It's remarkable. So tell me a little bit about the being inside the Buteco Mastermind group. What is, what's going on in there? <laughs> what's going yeah. on there with you? <laughs> yeah, the mastermind group is really wonderful um, because it's drawn together some really fascinating, really interesting people who otherwise I wouldn't have really been able to connect with. You can't necessarily meet people who've got this wealth of knowledge, experience and curiosity just in the world. And uh, the mastermind group has somehow been able to capture these people and bring us all together in a process where we are inspiring each other, sharing, you know, uh, some people have, have got an, an enormous experience in different domains, whether it's Buteco, whether it's different forms of healing. And we're bringing all our ideas and our uh, experiences together and just learning at a rapid pace. And all of us are exper experimenting with different things. And there is a real sense of community. Um, I'm, I'm there posting different videos and pictures pretty much every day of things I'm doing and experimenting with. And, uh, what is incredible about the, uh, you know, the education that I've uh, kind of gone through with the mastermind, it has exploded my world far beyond breath work, but the universe that is tempering, the, the galaxy that is just cold or um, working with the sun or working with heat, these things are 
um, incredible domains within within themselves. And we've been able to explore these in a really structured way, drawing from a range of experience. And um, we're all able to monitor the impacts on our organism and um, have the capacity to have access to these incredible tools, which many of us are advanced students. And now uh, we, we do, I, I have the capacity now to explore these things and uh, get from them the kind of benefits that one would hope to get. And um, they, they have expanded my practice and uh, given me more, more scope to go deeper and deeper in my healing journey. So that has been remarkable, really has, it's been a privilege. So you're saying that you were struggling, you kind of plateaued, and now you've gone over that and you're sailing. When you look back at that, is there one route to that? I think everybody, anybody watching this is going, well, what did he do <laughs> that made it work? Like for you, what, what was it? Where, where's the route for you? Yeah, this is where it requires just to be in a humble and just being open and honest and just saying you know I didn't really um know it was a case of arriving at the doorstep of a very experienced teacher like Jesse who's done this for 12 years and has worked with countless students who you know I just unloaded on him and talked at him for like hours and hours and emailed him and you know he was able to see look Ravi I think with you you're so excited about um, certain aspects and you're really drawn to these aspects and you're talking to me about all these people you admire and all these things you want to do and there's a real central thread here and it seems to be Ravi that you are really drawn to physical activity namely walking hiking exploring your you know physicality and in a, in a past life almost like 10 years ago I was competing in powerlifting at a kind of British national level and uh, you know I have that real interest in physicality so we had a lot of dialogue, me and Jesse, and um, Jesse kind of said, you know what, Ravi, I think you've got this month for you, you know, you, you've just completed your contract, you've got time and, you know, you, you want, you've really expressed to me that um, you want to explore this very deeply. So let's, let's, uh, I remember a line that he said, let's David Goggins this, because we were talking a lot about this inspirational figure who had a very profound transformation using physical activity. So I discovered physical activity, namely walking. I've been researching this for years and years. But when you are like where I was with a control pause of six, having horrible brain function, horrible brain fog, struggling to function in day-to-day -day life, sadly. Um, so I needed the help of Jesse to kind of piece a complex picture together for me. But he found that central thread. And then we worked on a regime and we designed it and implemented it and uh, applied various kind of like, my my – uh, kind of a skill set is in project management. So I work with, uh, you know, a variety of different projects. So uh, we put together a spreadsheet and we began to track data and um, we started experimented with walking. Um, first, I I'd just go for an hour, then two hours and three hours. And I was up to eight hours a day, eight hours. Yeah. Just out in nature, found the nature, wonderful nature park, not too far from me. And I'd be gone all day. It'd feel like a eternity had passed. It'd feel like, um, you know, an adventure was unfolding. And in that process, my, my control pause went from, what well, my positive maximum pause went from 15 to then 20, then 25, stabilized at 30, then kept climbing. And then I entered like advanced student territory and uh, just, uh, entered a different mode of being, got out of that really uh, terrible state I was in, entered a different way of being and existing. And now uh, one, what was wonderful is it, you know, I was lucky in that Breathing Center offered the mastermind for people with my, uh, you know, deep, deep passion for Boteco and uh, people who are at that point where they want to, you know, really go to the core of this and achieve the highest um, possible health that this particular modality in this way of thought uh, can possibly bring to an individual. So um, I really tapped out physical activity and then entered mastermind to now explore even more. So there's even more tools and all sorts of things that you, you guys at Breathing Center have uh, got up your sleeves to teach us students. And um, yeah, it is an incredible journey and one that I'm very, very honored to be on.
I do just want to speak to um, actually Jesse's skill as a teacher here. Yeah, so I was really blown away by um, a lot of his like, teaching style. I've been kind of observing kind of how we work together because this was really transformational for me. Like, I'm in a different position altogether now. And I just kind of look back and I kind of see how he took a, a seat, he listened to me for, for hours and hours and, you know, we worked together and in partnership and he found a road that kind of I would be excited to travel down. And for other people, that might be a different road. Other, pe I really connect with physical activity, but for other people, that might be um, of not uh, really something that empowers them. And that was the kind of power of having that kind of partnership that, that I had with Jesse that um, I think was really pivotal, pivotal here. And whilst I did go out walking for like, you know, eight hours and things like that. Um, other people can get very similar results, if not far higher than what I've got from things like meditation, from things like fasting, um, uh, things like cold baths can be remarkably useful for people. There are a plethora of different pathways people can go down to achieve remarkable healing. But sometimes you have to humble yourself and understand that you know, when we are in a low state, when we are um, in a very low oxygen state, it's difficult to see the big picture. In my context, in my case, I was fortunate to connect with Jesse. He was able to guide me, see the big picture, formulate something that was really empowering for me. And we went down a path that, in, in my case, was really transformative. So I'm grateful for him and, you know, the kind of unique approach that he brought to this. Now, I know you haven't really worked directly with Sasha. So how, how's the experience in the mastermind group with her? No, I, and I know you haven't mm. worked, you, know, you said you didn't work directly with her, but how's that? Yes. So clearly, I, I look, I've been researching take for years and know Sasha. I watched her videos. I read her books, took her, like, I read her, oh, purchased her materials and whatever else. And she's a fascinating and really wonderful communicator of Buteco's ideas and clearly like a, a wonderful resource for us. Um, so being able to um, undergo this experience alongside Sasha, where Sasha is kind of a student here, um, it's very, very humbling. It's um, what is really inspiring about that is like, I'm really fascinated with Buteco's ideas and she's done it for 30 years and she is still learning and she's still developing and she's still innovative and coming up with, new concepts like mastermind. This is not something that's been done before. And she's still growing and expanding her practice and her ambitions and her goals. I mean, she's at an entirely different level from myself. I can only hope to one day get to that kind of, uh, you know, state in my practice, but um, she's still growing. And that is um, for where I am personally, just so empowering because I want to be doing this for, you know, 10, 20, 30 years. And um, to see someone still so energized and um, willing to open their mind and open their horizons to unveil even more, um, it, it's really quite humbling and uh, also uh, very, very motivating, I'd say. Yeah, I think the greatest teacher is by action, not by word, right? And I, and there's this part of us that's like you know we we have goals and goals are good and we want to get there but then it's also like we also don't want to get wrapped up in um you know I'm going to meet that and then it's over right and then it all ends and just by her living this out proves that point it shows us that point uh, reminds us that just what you said it is a journey we can relax into this and I think that takes off some of that almost stress we can accidentally take on as we're learning, um, thinking like, we've got to get this here. We've got to go, we've got to achieve this. And it's going to be all done. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be grand, you know? And she's like, no, this is, this is it. Like this is, it's just an ever unfolding journey. But I guess what I want to kind of say to that in response is um, one thing that I've kind of learned in my practice is, you know, um, healing has many, many layers and, um, having that kind of very fixed mindset of having a concrete goal that you want to get to. And then, yeah, we're done. I think it's really short sighted with the Buteco practice. Um, 
when I was initially having my breakthrough, I just wanted to function. I just wanted to be able to finally go to bed and sleep. And, you know, so um, that was my initial, just basic survival was my kind of principal concern. But as I had that taken care of and then moved up in the positive maximum range and then, you know, normalized and stabilized higher and higher, um, then other factors in my journey became like a source of focus then I wanted to really like uh, deal with some like beliefs and calm my mind down and that became something I wanted to really look at and then I was able to you know orient myself towards um, making some changes there and I was able to kind of work with that for a while and then um, there's other other things that I now um, I, w- I want to focus on a little bit um, things like connected with nature things like you know um, reinvigorating certain aspects of my life that I want to, you know, um, explore a bit more. So I think having that really fixed um, mindset with wanting to get to an end uh, kind of robs a person of so much personal development and growth that can happen with a take your practice. As you oxygenate your brain and, and your body and your mind, you become more vital. You, um, exp- you know, things awaken in you that you, you possibly have, not been able to connect with for many many years so uh this has to keep keep going it's a dynamic thing in my opinion anyway that's been my experience you rejuvenate at multiple levels when you are doing this like i can see very deep transformation happening in people and like a very significant change in outlook and i can tell you for myself i'm having breakthroughs which i didn't even think i would you know do it in some ways like just personal life i'm contemplating a move to somewhere else i just didn't have like the confidence for that before and i wanted to do that but now i can look at it and it's come through like the discussions we've had in mastermind around light and you know i live in england it's not (laughs) you don't see the sun it rains a lot and you just just you know quite cloudy and i want to move to a climate where i can at least see the sun so um i think i'm going to be doing that now for a while so it's been about a month and a half in the mastermind so far. What's your favorite element in there? By far, you know, cold. Yeah. Um, yeah. This, so you see, and I have studied, you know, take original text and looked at a lot of his thought and the way he was thinking and how he was conceiving our organism and how he commented on in many ways, our society and our civilization representing a bit of an anti-world whereby um, a lot of things that our organism needs to really function robustly have been inverted as we've moved towards living indoors um, in conditions which are often very warm. And um, this has slowly, incrementally uh, began to dampen our physiology. And um, with that, we can reconnect with a more robust physiology through exploring cold. And um, there are, there's a r- wonderful, rich tradition in the East of using the cold that was really evocatively explored by um, a gentleman we've learned about in Mastermind, a gentleman called Profiri Ivanov. And um, I thought that really moved me and really connected me with something that um, just kind of blew me away when I was looking at some of the case studies that I was able to access from people in Russia using these uh, modalities of cold and achieving just remarkable things. And I kind of really uh, fell in love with the cold and I practice um, cold thermogenesis, earthing, um, all sorts of different different modalities. But for me, the cold has been just rejuvenating. Very shortly after doing it, um, you know, I, ca- I came to this process with really awful brain function. It was horrible, actually. It was just not a good state to be in, you know, after previously being so sharp and doing so well in life. It was awful. But at any rate, you know, I found cold and that just rejuvenated me. It was <laughs> remarkable, actually. Within a few days my personality came back i was able to talk to people i was able to engage with people and you know i, I took on a new role in uh, strategy development and it's relatively complex but i was able to really understand things and make it work and yeah uh, i really attribute that to the cold it's an incredible thing truly so within the mastermind there are hot seats have you been on the hot seat yet and if you have not are you going to Mm-hmm. So I haven't had the opportunity to be in the hot seat just yet. Um, we have only had one hot seat so far on our schedule, and it was a r- remarkable and profound moving experience. 
Um, now, I have put myself forward to be in the hot seat. I think a few other students also have. Um, not entirely sure when that is because the um, how our captain is managing this, how Jess is ma managing this is it's a surprise. I think the individual is um, informed at some point, but so far I haven't quite uh, been informed. However, I'm very much looking forward to that email, whatever it might come. And um, yeah, I want to get myself on the hot seat because I've got very ambitious goals in my practice. Where do you want to see yourself? Where, what is that space going to look like at the end of this mastermind? Yeah, so um, cl clearly, um, you know, my progress up to now is not something I want to discount. It's great. It's life changing. And it's been, you know, a revelation. But that's not where I want to go. I've got really ambitious goals where I want to get to in my practice. Um, where I want to be at the end of Mastermind is somewhere where I think um, I've kind of um, really kind of had a fascination with being at, and I want to be at a very high control pause, at, well, a very high PMP. Um, now, I have some reservation for putting numbers on these things because this is a process, this is a journey. There is so many layers that we can work with and so many different elements. But what I will say is I, and I don't know how, I don't know when I'm going to get here, but I'm going to do it till the end of my days. I want to get to a control pause or PMP of 120. And you know what? I'm not going to stop. I've been doing this for years and years and I will get there. So we'll see, Terry. <laughs> we'll see, I guess. I mean, one of the beautiful things about the group is that, uh, and I think Jesse says this more eloquently than me, but um, it's it's pushing our potential, it's expanding our potential uh, to be able to take down the veil of what's really possible. And once that happens, all of our doors blow open. So I don't doubt that your door, because your door is already blown wide open. I don't doubt it. I really, I really do not. Mm. And you know what? Prior to Mastermind, I wouldn't have had the confidence to say I can maybe realistically look at that one day. But the experience I've had so far um, has shown me that, no, this is something that is absolutely possible and it will come when it comes and I will show up to my practice every single day, be guided by uh, the gift that Professor Buteko has given us and just uh, be a student of this as long as it needs to be. Yeah, that is priceless. Any final thoughts you would like to share with us? Yeah. So what I'd like to share is um, this is a really profound, wonderful healing practice. It is the journey of a lifetime. Healing is worth it. It is absolutely worth it. Um, people are have incredible potential. This is a really remarkable species that all of us are part of. And Professor Buteka was very clear. Remember, this this guy was a unbelievable one in a billion genius. This is not kind of um, a person that comes around so often. And he was clear and cogent in communicating that human beings are intelligent creatures. They are capable of a lot. And it is many ways um, historical accident and um, a manifestation of our social and political economic system that is actually uh, creating some real challenges for our physiology and um, it's distancing us from our actual human potential. So what I kind of want to communicate is there is so much in people that um, we absolutely should give ourselves um, the, the gift of healing. You know, really, really it's the best gift you can ever give yourself and it it is worth the wait. I, I waited four years. I, I tried different, approaches i did different courses with different practitioners but I, I know that i know what human beings can do when they are well oxygenated balanced and you know what um it's it's worth it um previously <laughs> i mean i had all sorts of horrible issues couldn't sleep i had crazy insomnia now i'm out like a, a, a light and wake up refreshed that in itself is <laughs> it's an incredible incredible gift 
so yeah, what I want to communicate with people is, um, yeah, this is a remarkable gift to give yourself. Take your time with it. Um, and know that you have remarkable potential to transcend anything that you might be currently experiencing. And um, I guess I just want to leave people with that. I know you are getting a lot from the mastermind group, but wow, are you also giving a lot to everybody in that group? Your energy is amazing. Your results are amazing. Your strength is amazing. So I honor you today. I celebrate you today. And thank you so much for sharing space with me today. Hey, thank you very much, Terry. It's an absolute honor and privilege. I'm really grateful to yourself, the work that Breathing Center does. And I'm really grateful for everyone in Mastermind for showing up and uh, supporting me in achieving the kind of results that I want to achieve. And indeed, the, the process of being able to watch other people really heal and realize their highest potential is really beautiful. So a lot of gratitude for Breathing Center and um, Breathing Center for facilitating this really remarkable experience for us all.